Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Fury Machine, and we are here back on Upper Lake Farms, 24 day seasons, 10x speed, and this is also a challenge to everyone. I would like to get more and more and more equipment picked by you guys. As you can see, we are on the series. This is a viewer picking the equipment challenge. And we have a comment contest going on as we speak. Just put down your favorite tractor and implement, and I will use it on the farm. You guys do the farm. I do the farm build. So in our last episode, we left off on clearing this with Chris's tractor here and in Junior's loading wagon. And we put some silage in there. Today, I am going to get Raznik here, which I will have to do myself. Let me tap. Oop, I got to get Vic going. This is Victor's tractor. It's a Farmall 4085... Farm all, farm all 560, but it's a series. And his 720 plow that he picked. Be nice if I hit H for higher worker. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's mine. I gotta get Chris's tractor put the loading wagon. I'm gonna put this right over here for now. Yep, viewer choice series where you guys get to pick it. All you have to do is put what you like in the comments. Now, I still need a tractor. I still need a cultivator. And I still need a harvester and a tractor and a cedar. Those are the main ones we need right now. And then we will get into the crazy implements that are the miscellaneous stuff. I'll put this here. No, I'll shut this off. There. Now, what we'll do as soon as we get... I was just over at Raznik's stream real quick here, and he uh, he was doing some. Uh, let's go, boom, boom. There we go. Uh, and he was. T I was so proud of him that he said he was trying to follow the a realistic farmer. He was trying to do his field. There, keep my cruise control on. He was doing a realistic, f trying to do a field. As realistic as he can. He's over on Fredericksburg, Virginia map. He's uh, Multiplayer Tuesday. So every Tuesday, I will put a link to the in the description to his live streams and to his channel. So that every Tuesday, he does multiplayers. And he has a raffle. And you just go on your stream and you get points for being in the chat. You get points for commenting and playing the heists and playing the games in chat. And the more you participate, the more points you get. So make sure you go over, check out Raznik's channel, and he will get you set up. So what happens is, is he has a raffle. It costs you ten flossy dollars, and every to get a ticket, and then he chooses it. And every Tuesday, he picks the people out of his streams to play with him. Just keep in mind that he has uh, some DLCs downloaded that you want to make sure that you're uh, getting. He wants you to make sure you get the Anderson DLC. Uh, there was a couple other ones. He he lists them. Uh, oh, I'm not on the... I switched it. I switched it. <laughs> but he was so excited because he was actually doing a field. Uh, the right way. With his headlands last and stuff. So he's excited about that. But we're just here and we're on Upper Lake Farms and we are finishing. I'm going to take this field over to the end of that. I've got Vic's tractor plowing away over there. And really soon here, this is day three, and I still haven't bought my cows because this is going to need to be fertilized. So what I should do. Um. Now, I want to get this plowed in first. I've got enough silage made. We've decided last episode that we were going to fill them, feed them, feed the cows aroni uh, with some silage. And just make sure you guys are liking and subscribing and sharing the videos. 
Don't be afraid to share. Don't be afraid to talk about them. Don't be afraid to bring up any questions you have about real farming and how it really works. And I'll be sure to answer. I always check my comments every single day. I always make sure that uh, I'm answering them. I want to make sure that I thank you guys personally for all of the love and support. And I'm just happy with everything that's been going on. It's a nice way to spend your retirement, I'll tell you. Whereas if you're watching this, you stop at the front of your tractor and then you spin it around. And then I will come back later and do all then put these headlands the other way. Now there are limitations, obviously, because it's a video game. And you can only do so many things. You can't do it as realistically. Because I would play it like this and I'd be looking out the window. But because we're on YouTube. Uh, we want people to see what we're doing. That's why the majority of YouTubers out there, they take a deep breath here. Uh, they play out cab. They play outside so you guys can, they can spin. They can see what their workers are doing. And you guys can see what the plow is doing. Because if you were in, you know, in cab like this, you'd be going like this all the time. I'm playing with just my controller today. Normally I have my steering wheel hooked up, but... I was playing World of Tanks earlier today, and I unhooked it because it was in the way. So I had the steering wheel unhooked because I got tired of... Uh, World of Tanks does not support a controller. So I was leaning over my steering wheel for like an hour straight using the WASD keys, and it was starting to hurt my shoulder. So I unhooked my steering wheel, but we're going to get this recording done without it tonight. Just do my normal controller. Won't hurt anything. And I'm sure you guys won't mind. But you'll see me twitching every once in a while. <laughs> see the, it just does it's just not as smooth steering. But another wonderful weather day here in the upper east coast. I mean we've had like six in a row and I can't I can't uh, understand why. My county that I live in is three hundred cloudy days a year for real. And that's no joke. It's worse than Portland, Oregon up there. Uh, where they get so many, or Washington or whatever they call it up there. They were up in the West Coast where they get rain, rain, rain. We don't get rain, we just get clouds. And we'll have a bunch of, it's weird because here we are at the end of May and it's like 90 degrees out and we're like, wow, this is backwards compared to what it normally is. Normally, I don't even think about hooking my pool up until after Memorial Day. And uh, I've got it all set up now. <laughs> I mean, of course, I'm not going to swim in it yet because it's only 70 degrees. In the pool, 66, I think it was today when I checked it. Uh, but I got, the, I got the solar cover on it, and it'll warm up. Probably by mid-June, it'll probably be like 75. You know, I've never been one of those guys that's like my pool, like 90 degrees or 80 degrees. I went over to a buddy of mine's a few years ago, and his pool was like 82, and it was like bath water. And I'm like... This isn't helping anything. This makes it worse. But uh, I also got a basketball game going on in the corner. And I'm peeking over at it. So every once in a while, I'll be real super quiet. And I'll look at the score. Big basketball fan. Sorry. Uh, uh, raise. There we go. We'll get this done here. And we'll... Because I got to get some cows to get some manure going. So that we can fertilize this because this is uh this will be ready to fertilize but what i've been doing what we decided to do is we decided to take the mower and pick up all the grass before we plow in the fields whoops whoops here he can't drive tonight yep i will make sure like i said have the uh links to this in my description box to farmer client stream and Raznik stream because they I usually hit them both every time they're on and generally speaking they're on the same night uh, Monday farmer Klein does uh, the Polar Express he does truck sim American truck simulator and multiplayer and then Tuesday Raznik does his multiplayer and or yeah and then Tuesday he, he does his multiplayer and then they of course they record their videos and in between and then Raznik streams Emerald Coast uh, map out of Florida um, 
And Raznik's been, or then Farmer Klein is working on, what did he, oh, he did a map review tonight, too. This stream was on a map review. Fantastic by Missy B Moddings. What is going on here? Why am I all over the place? Hope my controller isn't breaking. And yeah, Missy B Modding is putting out a new map. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I watched the stream. And I still can't remember. But I, as soon as it's ready, she said she thought it was going to be ready sometime the first week of June. And so I'm excited about that because I'm going to download it. I'm going to do a Let's Play on it because it, the map is just amazing. But, yep, this little 5.7 meter uh, ripper plow is pretty good. I, this is Raznik's tractor, Klossy B. This is Klossy B's big sister. And the 915 John Deere ripper plow. He wanted the 95E, and I decided to surprise him with the the uh, Kloss version of it. He's got a tractor on his on one of his farms that's named Klossy B. Or Klossy. Klossy. This is Klossy B. Klossy's big sister. So. Uh, give me one second. 49, 48. Give me one second. 51, 48. Lakers are winning. In case anybody wants to know. Lakers and Phoenix tonight. Playoffs. Playoffs in the basketball world. Not that anybody cares, but peeked over and saw the score real quick. It's seven minutes left in the second quarter. So I'll be able to get this done. I might cut it short a little bit so I can kids and I watch the game. This thing is really like swaying really bad and I'm thinking my right stick of my controller or left stick might be breaking. Uh, it's an Xbox One controller and of course uh, who wants to go out and spend 65 more dollars on a controller, but. I actually should have done this with GPS. In fact, let's get set up here and I'll do a couple of passes with it. Uh, do, 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 do. Gosh, it's been a couple episodes since I've used this. Uh, there she is. Had to remember how to do it here for a second. Sorry, right, well, I'm quiet a little bit there. Go. There we go. There. Now I can not have to worry about it changing. But yeah, I was watching this uh, movie quiz. We were on YouTube. Of course, I'm always on YouTube between putting videos up and checking out other people's streams and checking out other people's stuff and uh there was this quiz that i was doing it was named the 80s music or it was named the 80s movie themes and i was shocked of how many i actually knew you know it was like beverly hills cop and teen wolf and all those things and you think to yourself the music you don't even pay attention to i didn't even know this that there was beacons on the 950 Oh, no, it's just reflectors. I shut that off somehow. There. It was... I hit it. I hit it. I hit it by accident. My bad. But yeah, I was shocked of how many I knew. <laughs> it was crazy. Crazy talk right there. But it's funny when my, my son calls me and calls me every Saturday and... I always tell him how hot it is here, and he lives in Alabama, and he tells me, he just laughs. He just says, uh, yeah, Dad, about that. It's not that hot there, boys.
Now, I won't use the GPS on Vic's tractor because it wouldn't have it normally. The already we've, look how much we've gained. Uh, let's go into here real quick while he's moving. And we've added, plowed, 4.95 acres total to this field in about 15 minutes. So now normally this plow in real life would, a ripper plow, you'd be plowing at about two miles an hour. Ripper plows don't go fast. Between two and four, if you were, if you had a big egg, I almost swore, sorry, I apologize that. If you had a big butted tractor like this, in real life, 400, 500 horsepower. You could probably pull this at about four miles an hour. But remember, look how, I mean, these things go really deep in the ground. So, providing you're hitting, not hitting rocks and everything else. And then I'm going to, I definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, beginning of next episode, I want to, I got to get some cows in here. Because John, John's got his tractor in the shed over there, and he's going to be my fertilizer. And we decided in the beginning that we're going to do a green farm. Where we're going to use strictly uh, organic. We're going to use a manure spreader, or I'm going to make compost, one of the two. I'll take some grass and put it in there. Uh... And ferment it. Uh, I downloaded the compost mod. Where you can add compost to a map. Uh, compost tea. And so Farmer Klein does the review on it. And I usually get most, if not 95% of my mods. From when Farmer Klein does a, Farmer Klein does a review on them. Uh, he's so informative. He's so honest. He's, he's just super realistic about it. And that's just the way it is. I mean, I... Trust the guy and knows what he's talking about, and he will give you an honest review. And that's the way it is. And that's anybody who hangs out with me understands how that works. Just let me check out. Now, this mod is done by Scooter's Workbench. You can find this over at GNG Modding Facebook page. It's the Farm All. Let's see where I'm at here. Tractors. Farmall. Uh, it's the X60, but it's the 465-60 series. Goes to uh, Starts at 60 base horsepower, goes to 73. And uh, Scooter's Workbench did this mod. And he's another one that absolutely I trust uh, with all of my mods. He's just amazing. And you can catch him. He is a... Moderator. Why did that? Crazy. I don't understand why that stopped. The tractor should have stayed running. There. The other thing I don't understand is why is my lines not turning green? Oh. Isn't it? It should, that middle line should be green. Then again, they updated the guidance system, so I don't know. Maybe it stays red now. Oh, I know why. Because it's offset. You've got to go like this. There we go. There, see? Ha <laughs> ha. I figured it out. I was like, why is it showing me the red? the green <laughs> then you come back and you do your headlands and match them right up with the other ones so the furrows all go the same way but let me show you guys something this is how fast it would go realistically 
<laughs> and you'd be plowing like that. But with a big, big tractor like this, you might be able to go about like that. That's about how fast you would plow this in real life. But for the sense of gaming, we turn it up. Just because I'm running 10x speed. Now, if I was doing, which I may do, I'm thinking strongly about doing a Let's Play on the Millennial Farmer map. But every time I try to do a Let's Play on a really big map with realistic speeds and realistic equipment and realistic speeds, it there's some issues with the map. I was on um, Flint Hills. Absolutely love the map. MRG is an amazing mapper. But there's always issues with, there's always issues that I find. And it's, it's frustrating because it's always about two or three or four episodes in and you get going and you're, you've already spent your time. Now you see how that's slipping? That's why you go slower. So, but there, it came up where there was like some imaginary wall or something. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it because I'm not on that map anymore. I'm on Upper Lake Farms. You guys are here to see this build. A couple more here. Get all the way to the edge. Oh, it must be half time. Good. Finish this up and then... Oops. Uh, get talking looking at my TV. <laughs> Come on, Fury. But yeah, so I'm thinking st I'm thinking strong. I went through and I did a walkthrough, periodic walkthrough on the Millennial Farmers map. I really want to get a super realistic, super real-time map to play that I can chip away at it. Because uh, I, I enjoy doing things the realistic way and teaching you guys and teaching. That's what I enjoy to do. Being an older dude like myself, I just get into the whole teaching aspect and there was a lot of things that people didn't know. And like I said, just because I'm a farmer doesn't mean the way we did it was the right way. It's just the only thing I can tell you is the way we did it. There's uh, like millennial farmer in real life. He's a big commercial farmer. So he uses, you know, 20, 30, you know, or I'd say probably realistically 18, 20 meter equipment when he's seeding and when he's plowing. And uh, they don't, they're no till. They don't, they don't plow. They don't rip. They just discs. They just disc, which is cultivating. They don't do what I'm doing here, right here. This is considering, um, this is considered ripping the ground. You're literally, now we didn't do this either growing up. When I was growing up, we didn't do this. We just did the same thing. We did this towards the end. We started uh, uh, rip, er, uh, subsoiling. Sorry. My brain froze there for a second. But I may go... I really, 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 really want to do... Uh, I enjoyed Flint Hills. I absolutely enjoyed it. It was... It's amazing, the big maps. Because I didn't... I had never worked. I worked farms like tiny. Our biggest field that we had was 60 acres. And uh, so, and that took us four days. I mean, you want to talk about realistic timing. Uh, 60 acres took us four days to harvest. And it took us, and then again, there was only three of us working. It took us probably about four days, depending on the weather, to get enough manure around to spread it, to, to complete the field. Uh, you know, because they, in the beginning, you only had... 20 cows to start so they didn't produce a lot of mer I mean they do they poop a lot but they don't they produce more slurry than, than they do uh, manure especially if you're feeding them silage silage cows cows muck is not solid by any means it is but it isn't it's more ammonia and more water that comes out I don't want to continue to talk about that but that's the way it is. I'm going to go over. Nope, this will be the last pass because I'm not going to go here. 
and make that. In fact, this will be the last pass, and I'll keep that last little edge grass. Um, actually, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. Turn the guidance off. So that we can come over here like this. Make this a nice little pass here. I'm not going to go straight across. That'll be another episode. Keep my edge of my field. Missed a spot. probably wouldn't plow that much on this road either because it would be so compacted that it would just tear the tines out of this. But if you want to get a uh, super realistic farming series on YouTube, watch how farms work uh, and then watch I don't really wouldn't drive over this either. Uh, if you get a chance, watch Big Tractor Power. Uh, he does, he shows the 915 Ripper Plow, plow uh, with 670, 600 and something horsepower tractors, track tractors, pulling it and going over a freshly compacted area. And it's absolutely amazing how they struggle. These, these uh, Ripper Plows in real life take a lot, and I mean a lot of horsepower. And see when you make a when you make a field in real life, it's all it's gonna be like that. It's never gonna be even. It's never gonna be perfect. It's gonna be normally I'd be driving on the road. But that'll give us, if we decide to go this way, uh, if we decide to go across the field that way, it'll give us a place to turn around up on the road here. Which is probably the way I would do it. I was watching the halftime show in between <laughs> trying to drive. I'm in the middle of the thing, not paying attention to what's going on here. The other thing that would be realistic that I just didn't do is you see how I'm driving over the furrows? I would do that. I Whenever you expand a field, you want to do it in the off season. So that you have a chance to fix all of your furrows and fix all of your stuff. Because you're making furrows that the, the plants go into. And then in order to plant over them, you get super smooth with the cultivator. It breaks the furrows up. And just like that, we are done. Check on Vic here. I was gonna say, where's Vic? He's he is he moving over there? And I always gonna park this over. Yep, wrapping up here. So we got that done. Then I'll come and I'll pick up this grass over there. I'll mow that first, get it up, picked up for silage, and then we'll plow that. And I think I'll come off camera and I'll buy some cows. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Get this bad boy over here. Now, this is what's called a fixed subsoiler. There's no folding to it whatsoever. It's it's what you see. What you see. Now, this little mod here, this pressure washer, is also done by Scooter's Workbench. And, like I said in my Let's Play for Dark Forest, I'm going to do this every other day because... 
I'm really starting to get into the farm building and the, the things of Dark Forest. I've been using the, a new mod called the Brooks Chipper, and it's so much easier. Now, the one thing people always forget about washing, right here, you don't want to get too much water in the hoses, but this part right here always gets forgot. This part in between the wheels, this part up underneath, and back over here in between the wheels. Lower yourself down. Whoops. Get a nice spray up because it always gunks up right up in there. And then your tracks. Now, these things are normally full of grease and stuff anyway, so. And there we go. And just like that, now I got to go over and fire Vic for the day. Vic, you're getting your tractor awful dirty. Look how dirty that tractor is. <laughs> loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, guys, gals, and everyone else who's watching this, as you see, we extended our field by... 9.18 acres plowed in, plus the size of the field it was before. And Vic's getting this field done here. We washed the tractor. We, did, we talked about a bunch of stuff. And as always, look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and look out for your family. That's the most important to me. And enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure you like and subscribe and share, share, share. And I'll catch everybody on the flip side.